American Mission Hospital, the cornerstone of U.S.-Bahrain relations. Our story starts in Bahrain, a small island with a million palm trees and a big heart. Bahrain started to flourish from 1861 under the leadership of His Royal Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa. Around this time in 1888, Professor John G. Lansing from New Brunswick Seminary of the Reformed Church of America, along with a group of his young students, realized they needed to begin pioneer work in Arabia. In the 1890s, the American missionaries, James Canteen, Samuel Zwamer, and an Australian missionary, Amy Wilkes, who later became Mrs. Zwamer, arrived in Bahrain. With need of trained resident doctors, Sharon Toms and Marion Wells Toms, a husband and wife team, arrived in Bahrain in 1900, and the Mason Memorial Hospital takes shape. In 1962, the hospital expanded by opening two new buildings in central Manama and renamed itself the American Mission Hospital. The late Amir Sheikh Issa bin Salman Al Khalifa was resolute, however, that this hospital would never close. He had said, it came to serve the people of Bahrain and it will remain that way. In 2009, Dr. Paul Armerding handed over the reins of the hospital to Dr. George Cherian. This saw the beginning of a new era for the hospital and its role in the healthcare system of Bahrain. I had this unique opportunity to stand on the shoulders of these giants to continue the transformation of the American Mission Hospital since 2009. The biggest challenge for me was how to, to hold on to the value sets uh, that the missionaries has established of being a, a mission hospital and yet to transform this hospital to be a hospital that provides modern health care. It all started with people in trying to attract people not just for a job, not for a career, but for a calling. From a single center at Banama, which stood in its origins uh, since 1903, the first satellite clinic was established uh, in SAR in 2000. But since 2014, we have grown, extensively grown, to be located uh, in all of the four governorates of Bahrain, uh, in SAR, in Rifa, and in Amwaj. The growth has now come full circle with uh, further expansion of uh, the hospital to a completely new greenfield site, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to transform healthcare to a world class healthcare facility on the Kingdom of Bahrain. And we have just embarked on this very exciting journey to realize this dream. The American Mission Hospital has grown significantly, uh, as a lot of people are aware, in the last eight years. And as the organization has grown, uh, so has the workforce. And at AMH, uh, the workforce is very diverse here. We have over, I would say, 15 plus different nationalities working here in the organization. And um, if we see, you know, people that have the potential, we encourage them um, to develop themselves further. So we're very supportive of all our staff here at the American Mission Hospital. And the average length of stay here is 20 plus years for, for most of our employees. And my background personally is in pediatrics, so I'm very passionate about helping the children here um, in the community and especially those with um, special needs. But we cover any community service that requires uh, help and assistance to do any kind of health screening. This hospital, uh, consisting of 125 beds, uh, has both primary, secondary and tertiary care facilities with all the 
at the digitized technologies that is available in how we will transform care on the island of Bahrain. The hospital will continue to provide care for the people of Bahrain through our other four sites uh, and the new hospital will enable us to provide the care at the highest level uh, so that we will truly have a world-class facility on the island of Bahrain. And this was made possible by the generosity of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa who provided us with the land uh, in Ali where the new hospital uh, is located. He was also kind enough and generous enough uh, to allow us to use his name and the hospital is therefore called the King Hamad American Mission Hospital.